Hello and welcome back to Mega React. So today we are going to be reacting to Person of Interest Season 2 Episode 8. Last episode was a really good episode. We had a surgeon being forced to kill a patient to save her wife's life. Very hot couple, by the way. And uh, <laughs> there was some sort of a ex-British intelligence agent who was kind of working that and finch and john had to uh fix that situation the british agent though seemed to have remembered john from john's past they might have crossed paths or something along those lines and he got away so uh, i'm sure we'll see him again which is very cool because he's played by the actor julian sands i believe who to me, will always be the Warlock from the Warlock movies in the 90s. I think it was the 90s, maybe early 2000s. Really, really entertaining horror movies about a Warlock, of course. But, fantastic episode. Cannot wait to get into episode 8, so please come on this journey with me. But before you do, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega. Let's get into it. You are being watched. The government has a secret system, a machine that spies on you every hour. Yes, every it does. Day. I designed the machine to detect acts of terror, but it sees everything. Violent the all crimes knowing involving machine. ordinary people. The government considers these people irrelevant. We don't. Hunted by the authorities. Hello, Carter. We work in secret. Lionel. You'll never find us. But victim or perpetrator, if your numbers Ooh, up, we got we'll find you. Got a pair of victims. Very nice. Oh, where are we going back to? This place. I love Aww. it. Aw. More mind. Finch backstory. You mentioned craving some real espresso the last time we spoke. What a sweet relationship <laughs> they had. And they're married in real so, life, right? Uh, I think someone said have that. Have you ever been to Italy? Even more beautiful than I had imagined. So it was worth the wait. Unquestionably. Mm. Man, it's weird seeing Finch so happy. Wow. I feel bad for him. I've already eaten, Mr. Reese. Thank you. Who said it was for you? Oh, that's good, ain't it, Bear? Talkie Danish. So who's there in a number? Two numbers, actually. Sabrina and Daniel Drake, co-CEOs of East Village Publishing. And what are you playing, Finch? I need you to go to the Drake's place of business while I visit their home. I'm proud of you, Finch. You've really gotten comfortable with your breaking hand. <laughs> right? Thank you for appreciating my descent into deviant behavior. Yes. As for the work I love your descent into deviant behavior. This is an RFID duplicator. You simply scan an active card, copy this blank, and you'll have access to all the company's offices. That actor is Lucifer from Marty Supernatural. Again, you want to know your thoughts on the 10 best articles. Oh, Yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Carl. That's the second time Fosco sent me to voicemail. Should I be offended? Am I my partner's <laughs> keeper, John? Yes. No. But I bet you still have an opinion. I want to give him the benefit of the doubt, but the guy's been acting jumpy. Calling it one of the couple wants to kill the other. Because one of them wants to sell, one wants to keep. So my money's on the husband has hired someone to kill the wife. A bomb. Where's Mrs. Drake? I got to it before she arrived. <laughs> my God, what'd you do with it? Nothing you might want to, yeah, do something. No time, it's got a cell phone trigger. The call might come in at any second. John, you need to get away from it right Taking now. Taking the detonator out. to get to the wires. Careful. John, are you there? <laughs> okay, Finch. Device was all made. You said it was handled, Santi. Relax. I'm on it. You better be. Otherwise, I'm going to keep the rest of your feet. Yep. Got it? The husband. Mr. Reese, it's not the Maryland militia we need to worry about. 
The bomber just contacted Daniel Drake. It seems he's the one that tried to kill his wife. Car bomb, though, <laughs> a little extreme. But I guess you could blame it on the militia, so. They did say they made car bombs. Are you hearing this yeah, that is not a happy marriage. Apparently we underestimated their marital discontent. Sounds more like he, disgust. He's right though. They need to sell. Publishing. Downward spiral. Half a billion dollars. I'd sell. So Daniel Drake hired someone. But I grew up poor too. You know, when you <laughs> see that much money, uh, you take it, man. Because. Very clever. You could lose it in a heartbeat. I've enlisted Detective Carter's help. Yeah, I remember Santiago. What that idiot do now? He may be involved in a homicide. Anything hey, that guy's from Supernatural, too. <laughs> Not off there. He was a small-time dealer, started using his own product, and took a dive down a rabbit hole. I pinched him selling in Hell's Kitchen. No shoes, no shirt, and a forty-five tucked into his jockeys. Maybe a potential love interest for Carter? I don't know. Yeah, because he's, he's making eyes. Oh, shit. I got, got yep, sniper. I got the wife. I'm not sure it's Mrs. Drake. The sniper's after Mr. Reese. She just sent a text to an anonymized number. It just says now. The husband is the target. Is she, is she trying to kill him? <laughs> Are they trying to kill each other? Oh my goodness. That is hilarious. Finch, I think I figured out why the machine gave us both numbers. The Drakes took out a hit on each other. <laughs> They're both the victims and the perpetrators. Uh, both of them. That's hilarious. Who are you people? What is going on? Somebody better talk to me right now and tell me what the heck is going on. I want yes. <laughs> I was hoping you'd do that. No sympathy for you, dude. Uh, what are you doing? Sometimes you need to break a few eggs to save lives. Yeah, Pretty sure that's not the saying. You don't look like a police officer. Thank you. <laughs> At least you didn't get punched in the face. <laughs> I really Nobody cares. We don't stop this now. Innocent people get caught in their marital crossfire. And I won't let that happen. <laughs> Oh, that's that's hilarious. Why am I so happy that Fosco might have a girlfriend? <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm just so thrilled. Who are you? I'm the guy who stopped you two jokers from killing each other. I don't know what you're talking about. Where's Nestor Santiago? Nestor? You hired Nestor to kill me, the drug-addicted lunatic? You, on the other hand, went upscale, professional. Do you have a contact number or an address? Wow. <laughs> wow. You did it too, though, dude. So what? Selfish. I'm the one who's selfish. What they are perfect for each other. Oh. Although, unlike other couples... You've opted for murder instead of divorce. I suppose I should commend you for being so goal-oriented. <laughs> no, no, you don't look like monsters. In fact, you used to look like you were very much in love. I just smiled at the beach house. Yeah, and your aunt's awful vegan smoothies. They tasted <laughs> like rotten peanuts. You were desperate to leave and said you wanted to go swimming. No, it's our first day off in weeks. Right, but we forgot our bathing suits. You were still pregnant then. Hmm, did they lose a lose a kid? Hey. I don't know much about the man I hired, but I'll tell you what I can. I tried to call it off, but the phone number stopped working after the book signing. And Santiago. I tried to call him yesterday, tell him I changed my mind, but uh, he always hated you, honey. <laughs> A favor. Oh no. You know, Lila, next time you have a date, don't be so much about it. <laughs> I thought you might be up to something. 
come. Yeah. yeah. It's called the press yeah. alliance. That's, you have to take that's a bullet, funny. That's funny. That's funny. That's funny. You think I've earned just a little privacy? No. You sure they're even going to show up? That guy was right about us not talking, wasn't he? You didn't want to discuss anything real after it happened. I wanted us to try again. I asked you. I wanted to try again, too. It was just too soon. And then you said maybe I should take some time off, like it was my fault, because I was working too hard. I wanted you to stay at home because you've just been through a trauma, Sabrina, not because I blamed you for anything. Oh, my God. Communication, folks. Oh, my God. Is that what you thought? Danny, if we get out of this... When? When we get out of here? Maybe we can... crazy if we try again <laughs> it's just crazy yeah after we tried to kill each other i'm so sorry i tried to kill you <laughs> me too <laughs> oh, that's somewhat heartwarming my wife would not forgive me <laughs> no doubt no doubt even if she tried to have me killed too uh she would not forgive me for trying to have her killed How do they know where to go? Can't hide from me, Detective. Come on, Carter, you got this, dude. Hey, she ain't hiding. Nice. Good job, Fosca. Sorry about the mess. It's okay. I didn't really like it anyway. Brooks will keep things going while we work this out. Get back together. Come on. <laughs> Love the funny thing. Uh. You know, normally I'd ask for a bottle of something strong. But, uh, what about dinner instead? Oh, there we go. Come on, Carter. Okay. <laughs> you got you got the yes and you get out of there. Smart man. <laughs> God, I feel so bad for you, Finch. Really was something special you had. We'll be right back with you. So that was Person of Interest, Season 2, Episode 8. That was a really, really good episode. The... Uh, perpetrator victim of the week story was really good the husband and wife trying to kill each other both hired separate hitmen only to find out they still loved each other really fun concept the story between them was really good too you kind of delved into how they lost a child or lost a pregnancy which kind of was the catalyst for all of their issues and uh they kind of worked that out, which was great. And you also could just kind of parallel their tale of love to both Finch and Lionel and Carter even. Because uh, we got to see some of Finch's history with his, his fiance and kind of got to see how they... How, how their love blossomed and what it was like. And it really did seem like like a magical and fantastic relationship which makes me feel so bad for finch because she's right there man like she is there she is real she is alive happiness you know is right there but he's he's doing what he thinks he must do to protect her and uh which shows how much he does love her he's putting her safety above his happiness because I'm sure they could spend some time together, which he would absolutely love. Or they could try to do it secretly, but, but he knows the risk that entails. And he's doing what, what he thinks is best. And uh, I commend him for that, but, it, but it, it, it must suck. It must suck hard. And then we have Lionel, who uh, appears to be dating and has found him a very sweet and, and wonderful wonderful girlfriend maybe who seems to understand him and his life and I think 
I think they'd be good for each other. And then we had Carter, who is also maybe ready to get back on the dating scene with a character who, I don't know the actor, but I've seen him in a few things. Most notab notably, what I remember him from is Supernatural. He uh, tried to kill Sam Winchester. He became a vampire at some point, I think, also. But uh, that's what I know him from. He was fantastic on that show. I'm sure he'll be great on this one. So hopefully Carter will have a love interest. Hopefully they're not just setting setting him up to be killed, which happens a lot in TV shows when your main when your main group maybe finds a significant other. Uh, sometimes they die. So that might happen, might not. But overall, great episode. Really focused more on every character but John. But that's fine because you know we need to learn back story of everyone and kind of see see every character grow and we've had a lot of John build up and so it's good to see some of the other characters and getting them kind of flushed out in their in their lives nothing on Root this episode I am dying for Root to show back up so uh, come on Root we need a Root episode <laughs> coming up soon help me out I really love that character but if you want to see where this show goes, if you want to see if a Root episode is around the corner, all you have to do is join me on my adventure. To do that, like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega, signing off.